Hi everyone and welcome back to Stitchy Bee. I'm Cheryl Temple. Well, happy Wednesday. Here I am again, as promised. So last week I promised you that I would review the Sew Over It online class, which is called, let me get this right, the Intro to Sewing with Knits class. Okay, so this is an online class that comes with two downloadable PDF patterns. Firstly, the Emma dress and secondly, the Alice top. And it was the Alice top that really inspired me to buy this course. I think I bought it during the Black Friday sale. Um, so it's always nice to get a bargain, isn't it? So yeah, um, really love the Alice top. It's so me. It's just an everyday kind of top that you can just wear comfortably. Um, it looked quite simple to make and I really like wearing viscose jersey as well so that was a big tick for me um, secondly the Emma dress which is what I'm wearing um, now I'll give you a quick whirl so this is a dress made from Pontaroma and I didn't realize actually that when I selected this fabric it's the fabric that Lisa Comfort uses in the actual online class so great minds um, so here we are, it's quite short, excuse my slippers, <laughs> working from home footwear attire. So it's quite short and it's probably a bit too short, I feel like it's a really windy day here, it's awful and rainy here in the UK and I think if I went out with this on I, it would pro <laughs> probably take off or blow up one or the other. So it's got um, a princess seamed bodice. And there are two gorgeous little inverted pleats here and at the back and I've made it pretty much to the pattern but I chose to have a colour contrast cuff because I had some remnants of red ponty left and also I put inseam pockets in which I thought were quite cool um, and there's a really good tutorial actually on Lisa's Sew Over It channel on how to insert pockets into a side seam. So I've never done that before from altering a, a pattern. So I thought I'd do that, which is really easy. She actually uses a free pocket piece that comes with the Sew Over It pyjama bottoms pattern, but you can use pretty much any, any pocket piece. Um, it's just kind of like a lazy teardrop shape maybe. I don't know if that's how you describe it, but a standard pocket piece and you just cut out um, two pieces for each side and stitch them in as per Lisa's video. I'll link to that on um, YouTube. It's actually, it's the best tutorial for inserting pockets I've come across. It's brilliant. I don't think you need any of this. So have a go at that. So yeah, how did I find it? Well, I really loved sewing this up. Um, it's because the class is aimed at beginners I would say this of the two pieces is gonna be the easiest and the most with the most satisfaction from it so for example when you're sewing Ponty it's a lot more stable than any other type of jersey I find and there are loads and loads of notches in this pattern so don't scrimp on them it really helps when you're lining everything up it just makes things so much quicker and easier so make sure you find every notch in the pattern and that's great um, everything was fairly straightforward um, in terms of fit the fit's great but I didn't alter the waist I usually add an inch or two to the waist it sits very high on me as you can see so my natural waist is probably about there. So I'd say if you're tall or you've got a long torso, um, just check the fit on that. Um, it depends how you want it. But I just wanted to see how it came out as the pattern is, because Lisa's tall and I think all her patterns are made to fit her. So I was hopeful, but it does need an alteration for me um, for next time. Um, the pockets I think add to it and with the little bit of color pop as well, I think it, it really looks quite nice peeping out. Now also fit wise the cuffs are a little bit tight so I used the 1.5 centimeter seam allowance as instructed um, but I think next time I'd use a little bit less. It's not too it's not restrictive but I would prefer a looser cuff um, and I don't think I've got particularly big arms so 
Um, I think they're probably a little bit tight if you use the full seam allowance on the on the sleeve. So it's a nice length though, three quarter length. Um, but I feel a little bit like a girl going to a party, like a little girl. <laughs> you see what I mean? It's a bit, you know, it's quite fun, it's quite nice, but it's probably not the thing I'd always choose to wear. I tend to go with more day to day, practical items of clothing. But it's quite fun, isn't it? Especially in a polka dot. So yeah, really great first pattern to try. Um, if you are a true beginner to sewing with knits, I can't recommend this enough, it's brilliant. Um, so I don't think you'll find anything difficult about it at all. If you just follow the stages step by step, step. A good tip is to watch through the whole of the course for each item before you start. And then you kind of know what's coming and you can expect certain stages so that you don't skip anything. And it's amazing, you do miss bits if you just watch it once. It's always worth going through again. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention about the Emma dress. So the pattern says um, it requires a 22 inch zip. I think that's the right length. So I thought, a knitted dress with a zip? Nah. <laughs> now, don't trust me on this because it might vary on size. So if you have smaller size, it might not work. And if you're a larger size, it might not work. But I cut out a size 12 and I didn't put a zip in, I just stitched up the back. So I'll show you. So instead of doing the zip there, I just stitched it straight down with the 1.5 seam allowance and it worked a dream. I've got no problems with getting it on and off. Um, I kind of made sure, so I, I stitched it with a really long stitch length just to make sure in case I had to unpick it and it did work. So if you don't fancy putting a zip in, and don't. On next to the Alice top, excuse my voice by the way, I've had that dreadful flu bug for the last week and I'm just coming through it but I'm still a bit croaky aren't I? So I'm trying to keep up with the vitamin C drinks. Right then, so last week if you um, saw my video you'll have seen that I was wearing the Alice top in this gorgeous rosy black fabric. So I made this one in a viscose jersey which is a lighter weight more fluid jersey that drapes beautifully um, it can be a little bit fiddly to sew so again if this is truly your first time sewing with knits I'd say just be a bit careful and take it slow because I didn't think it was the easiest thing in the world to sew for a brand new beginner um, but I'll leave that up to you. Um, if you've sewn a few things then and you're confident already, then you'll find it okay. But um, because this type of fabric can curl quite easily, um, you need lots of pins and lots of patience, basically. But I, I, I like this kind of fabric to wear, so it's worth persevering with. And I also made it in this gorgeous, um, this is a charcoal gray, cotton jersey, 95% cotton, 5% spandex, and this one is 95% viscose, 5% spandex. Now the difference is this is a little bit thicker, and Lisa explains at the start of the course how to check how stretchy your fabric is, and she's kindly given a stretch test sheet to print out so that you can actually test your chosen fabric. Um, so this one is a little bit less stretchy than a, a viscose and it's it's warmer. So um, as I said last week it's a bit pinchy on me this, I'll show you. It's a bit tighter than I would like to wear. Now a great thing about this pattern is it comes in cup sizes which is really useful. So I didn't give myself the best chance because I sewed a size 12 which sometimes I'm a 12 sometimes I'm a 14 so I thought I'd, I'd have a snugger fit and I also went down a cup size because I sewed this first um, I'm usually a C but I chose the B and it's a little bit low you can see it's a little bit low cut and I'm constantly conscious of yanking it up when delivery men come to the door and stuff <laughs> so um bear that in mind. So the lessons I've learned from this is 
if I'm sewing a cotton jersey, I'm going to size up to give myself a little bit more comfort. So I'll definitely sew this in a 14 in this type of fabric. And also I'll increase the cup size. So I think it's probably quite spot on cup size wise. Um, so if you're a B, sew the B and if you're a C, sew a C and so on. But yeah, um, really easy to make um, if you follow the stages. There's um, a couple of things to watch for. So when you sew a plain fabric, it's not so easy to tell the right side from the wrong side. And I actually stitched the back of this one wrong the first time round and had to unpick it, which is a bit annoy annoying because it's also attached using a, a burrito roll method to hide the seams on the on the back because it's a double layer for both parts. So make sure that's correct before you stitch. And it's obviously easier to tell on a print. Um, so that's one thing to watch for. And you can alter where you sew the tab. So the tab's hand tacked inside, which always irritates me a bit. I hate hand sewing stuff. Um, I'm sure I, you don't see the sewists sat in factories hand sewing so there must be a way there must be a way of stitching that in so next time I'm going to find out how to do that because no one's got time for that <laughs> anyway apart from that it's it's great and the best thing is is a lot of the seams are hidden so you don't have to overlock everything because um, you can see on the inside that the the seams all nicely tucked away which is great but I, I love these um, they're really I've worn this load this week it's never been out of the wash and um, so I need a couple more and I know lots of people bought fabric um, last week with my jersey discount which I'm going to keep going for another week because I did sell out of a couple of things and I've now got them back in stock not everything but I've got some other stuff as well so let's let's keep the discount for another week so it's jersey 10 is the discount code if you want to go um, online to Stitchy B and buy anything and um, I've also got a couple of new ones in so this arrived today and I've got to put this online this afternoon but this is stunning so this is I've not got the exact composition for this because one of my supplies is not particularly great at doing that but this is this is definitely a polyester jersey but if you imagine a if you imagine a viscose jersey but made from polyester that's what you get here now when I felt this it's a navy by the way and a, a kind of beige fawny stripe but this reminds me of those high-end ready-to-wear shops, you know, like Hobbs and places like that and Phase 8. So it's that kind of feel to it. So I'm going to call this Classy Kate. And um, if you like a bit, um, a bit of that type of print, then go and have a look. This will be in the jersey discount too. So I really like that. I'm a bit gutted that I didn't have it before because I'm going to make one of these um, in it as well. So that would have been nice. Um, and also, I've got another Visco Stripes. I love stripes in spring. They're really cool. And um, this is a, a grey, light grey and dark grey striped Visco jersey. And this is beautiful, really soft. Um, always remember to wash Visco um, any fabric with viscose and before you sew or wash every fabric fabric really before you sew because you wouldn't want it to shrink especially on a close fitting top like this and um, so this one um, I'm not sure what I'll call this but it'll be a grey striped viscose and I'll pop that on the site before this video goes out so you'll see that there too I've got 20 meters of each so you need to be quick if you want some so finally I've got another 30 meters of this gorgeous geo jersey this sold out really quickly last week it's a blue um geometric print with a kind of sandy background the camera's making it a bit too pale there but if you go online i i spend a lot of time getting the colors right on my listings because there's nothing worse than buying a fabric and then you get it and then it's, it looks a different colour. So I spend ages making sure that it actually looks like this. Um, so the picture online is, is better than the one you're seeing on the video. Um, 
so yeah this is beautiful so I've got another 30 meters of this so I know a couple of people are waiting for it and I've sent you emails so thank you for waiting so yeah the, the discount still stands so thank you for being patient it's quite tricky um, knowing how much fabric to buy of, of each thing um, because I don't want to buy too much because I'd like to give you plenty of choice as well so it's just one of those things in the industry isn't it so that's it from me for this week um, really enjoyed making these over the last week or so um, and it's a great course so if you've got it crack on it's brilliant uh, so yeah next week I'm gonna talk about denim so it's been quite tricky finding good suppliers of good denim and when I was a customer I used to really struggle to find really good quality denim so I've ordered quite a few bits in and I'm really glad I did because Tilly and the Buttons have launched their brand new pattern the Miller Dungarees or Miller M-I-L-A I don't know how you say it I say Miller um, so yeah that looks like a good pattern uh, I've been looking for a pair of dungarees for myself recently in the shops so I'm quite pleased to find one in exactly the same style that I was looking for so I wanted something fitted I wanted something skinny not too baggy because when I've tried them on in the shops before they kind of gape here and these don't looking at uh, Tilly's pattern online so I'm hopeful I'll be able to create something that that can fit me and that will be really good for a jersey top like this underneath or um, an Agnes top or a Molly top something really plain um, maybe a stripe um, so I think that's a nice spring item of clothing to wear so I've ordered my bits and bobs from Tilly um, I've also ordered some of the jeans buttons as well online um, so I've got all the bits ready so I won't have finished it by next week unless I'm really 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 lucky um, to get the time but I'll pop back next Wednesday and we'll have a look at the pattern we'll have a look at some different types of denim and I'll let you know where I am in the stage and the process I think I'll probably have to do a twirl of it first um, to see how I can get it to fit right because I'll always have to lengthen the leg as well um, and we'll see how we get on then all right nice to see you thanks for popping in and I'll see you next Wednesday take care Bye for now.